a patient has a condition that causes them to have thick mucus secretions and excessive sweating. They use PERT therapy to manage their condition. Which of the following would be considered the best recommendation for the patient to follow? A. Adhere to a low-fat diet. B. Adhere to a low-sodium diet. C. Adhere to a high-tyramine diet. D. Adhere to a high-calorie diet. So let's highlight our key words of condition, thick mucus secretions and excessive sweating, PERT therapy, and best recommendation. So if we look at the keywords of thick mucus secretions and excessive sweating and PERT therapy, we have a really strong indication that this patient has cystic fibrosis. Now considering this, let's look at our answer choices. So how about A? Well, patients who use pancreatic enzyme replacement therapy, also known as PERT therapy, often need to manage fat malabsorption. Now, since PERT is designed to help with the digestion of fats and cystic fibrosis patients are prescribed to follow a high-fat diet, a low-fat diet would not be the best recommendation for this patient to follow. So we can eliminate this answer choice. How about B? So conditions that cause excessive sweating, like cystic fibrosis, can lead to a lot of sodium loss. Now, these patients often need to consume adequate sodium intake to replace losses through sweating, so following a low-sodium diet would also not be the best recommendation to follow, so we can eliminate this answer choice as well. How about C? So a high tyramine diet is not necessary for managing conditions like cystic fibrosis that involve thick mucus secretions and part therapy. Tyramine is usually a concern for people taking certain medications like monoamine oxidase inhibitors, also known as MAOIs. So we can eliminate this answer choice also. How about D? So conditions like cystic fibrosis often result in increased energy expenditure and nutrient malabsorption. To meet their increased energy needs and to ensure proper growth and maintenance of body functions, cystic fibrosis patients are recommended to follow a high-calorie diet. So, D is indeed the correct answer.